hey guys welcome back to my channel now today i'll be showing you how i make my version of the caribbean sorrel drink so guys let's get started so here i have a big bag of sorrel and i'm gonna go ahead and sort this out and i'm gonna wash it thoroughly guys you want to make sure you wash it thoroughly and start it because sometimes there's rocks in it and you didn't know how it was dried and we are going to consume this so you want to make sure you go through and look for any rocks sticks wood chips i don't know anything that's not supposed to be in there and give it a good wash i'm going to wash this in two sections Now here I have a pot of boiling water and to this I'm going to add some spice. I'm going to go in with some cinnamon stick and some cardamom and I'm going to go in with some freshly grated ginger. Now for the spices you could spice your sorrel however you want. This is my way and you could add as much or as little ginger as you like. You could press your ginger. I like to grate mine because I like my sorrel to taste nice and gingery. If that's a word, I like mine on the spicier side. Now I'm going to go in and add my sorrel. And I'm just going to add it and make sure that all the sorrel is submerged in the hot water. Now guys, you don't want to boil it at this point. Once your water comes to a rapid boil, that's it. That's good enough. You want to turn off your heat, submerge your sorrel and cover it and allow it to sit for a, a good bit. I did go ahead and allow mine to sit for 24 hours. You could go ahead and do 24 hours or more or less, but nothing less than 12 hours, I would suggest. But I let mine go for at least 24 hours. Look at all that flavor start to come together already, guys. Now I'm going to give this a good mix, cover it and allow it to sit. Now it's the next day and I'm gonna go ahead and strain out my sorrel, remove all that deliciousness from the pulp and sweeten this up. So guys, I went ahead and make mine on the richer side because I like it to be thick. So guys, if you don't like yours as thick, you want to make sure you add more water in the beginning. So you want to make sure you add more water when it's hot. You don't want to add cold water to your soil because that's a big no-no. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide this into half. I'm going to sweeten half alcoholic version and the other half non-alcoholic. So for the alcoholic part, I'm just going to go ahead and strain out some. And guys, for the non-alcoholic part, it's simple. You're just going to sweeten it with sugar because it has already have all those flavors. That's just about it for the non-alcoholic part. Now here I'm going to add some sugar. Now for the sugar, you want to sweeten to your lightning. Sometimes sorrel can be a bit hard to sweeten, especially if it's warm. It keeps taking sugar and more sugar because it's a really tart drink. So the more sugar you add, you want to be careful while adding sugar because you might end up adding too much. Just add and taste, add and taste until it reaches your preferred taste. So I'm going to mix in my sugar. And to this, I'm going to add some white overproof rum. You don't have to use white overproof rum. If you have any other rum, that will do too. And I'm going to go in with my red label wine. And of course, if you don't have red label wine, you could substitute for some red wine. And I'm going to give this a good mix. And that's basically it guys your sorrel drink is ready now you could store this for a very long while you could add some pimento seeds to this or a couple of grains of rice and it will sit for a long while and I'm just gonna show you how I serve this up well guys this was actually the next day again because it was chilling in my refrigerator 
and this is it so guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more amazing recipe like this one hit that subscription button turn on the post notification bell until then i'll see you in my next video bye bye